Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of visual storytelling, aspect ratios. You've probably seen different aspect ratios in movies, TV shows, and even online videos. But what do they mean? And how do they affect your final product? Let's break it down. What is aspect ratio? Let's start with the basics. Aspect ratio refers to the shape of your video frame, specifically the relationship between its width and height. It's expressed as a ratio like 16 by 9, 4 by 3, or 2.35 by 1. But different aspect ratios create different visual experiences. Let's look at a few of the most common ones and how they're used. First up is 16 by 9, which is the most common aspect ratio today. If you've watched anything on YouTube, Netflix, or pretty much any modern screen, the 16 by 9 ratio is wider than it is tall, which gives your footage a broad, cinematic feel. It's perfect for capturing landscapes, wide shots, and anything where you want to show a lot of horizontal space. This aspect ratio is versatile and works well for most types of content. Next, we have four by three. This aspect ratio is closer to a square and was the standard for television before widescreen TVs became the norm. It's often used to evoke a sense of nostalgia or to give your film a vintage old school look. 4x3 is great when you want to focus on the subject in the center of the frame because the narrower width directs the viewer's attention more vertically. Imagine watching an old TV show or home movie. It's intimate and feels like you're stepping back in time. If you're creating something that needs a retro vibe, 4x3 can be a powerful choice. It's also been used creatively in modern films to give certain scenes a distinct, almost claustrophobic feel. Now. Let's talk about 2.35 by 1, also known as anamorphic or ultra widescreen. This aspect ratio is much wider than it is tall and is commonly used in big budget movies. Think about the last time you saw a blockbuster movie in theaters. The super wide frame lets you take in vast landscapes, huge battles, or intense, action packed scenes. It's like watching a panorama, it immerses you in the world of the film, making everything feel grand and expansive. Using 2.35 by 1 can give your project a truly cinematic quality, making it feel larger than life. So what happens when you choose one aspect ratio over another? Well, the aspect ratio you choose can significantly impact the mood and feel of your video. Wider ratios like 16 by 9 or 2.35 by 1 can make your scenes feel more expansive, giving the viewer a sense of space and grandeur. They're perfect for epic scenes, landscapes, and action sequences where you want to show as much of the environment as possible. Narrower ratios like 4 by 3 can make your scenes feel more intimate and focused. They draw attention to the center of the frame, which is great for dialogue-driven scenes, close-ups, or when you want to evoke nostalgia. Each aspect ratio brings its own unique style and tone to your project. By choosing the right one, you can influence how your audience experiences your story. So next time you're planning a shoot, Think about the story you want to tell and how the frame itself can help you tell it. Experiment with different aspect ratios and see how they change the feel of your footage. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more filmmaking tips. And drop a comment below to let me know your favorite aspect ratio or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy filming.